Between 1835 and 1845, the most fearsome fights in boxing history were battled out bare-fisted by two men of knots. The extraordinary William Thompson, alias Bendigo, and Ben Corns, the amiable giant from Hucknall. At his heaviest, the elastic Bendigo weighed 12 stone and was reputed to be 5 foot 9 or 10. By contrast, Kaunt was huge by the standards of the day. Bendigo was buried in St Mary's Garden, Stenton. He was a legend and so were his parents. Both Bendigo's parents were very eccentric. His father was a skilled mechanic. Bendigo claimed that he could tap and screw an egg. His mother's talents were more earthly. She was known for a fine moustache, for her stomach powders, and for singing in taverns, and for a strong right hand. Big Ben Corns was buried in the centre of Hucknall. He was the son of a gamekeeper who was employed by Lord Byron. During his fighting career he took a pub in London. He was known for his musical evenings. He was a jolly chap. And towards the end of their careers, their lives, they became great friends, he and Bendigo. Bendigo's supporters, the Nottingham Lambs, were part of the mean streets where he grew up. This wasn't here in the 1840s, this was the Rookeries area, where policemen never went on their own, they only went in two, where thieves were known to be able to disappear at very short notice. Now, at any prize fight, a local squire was pressed into action as the referee. Now, the fights were attended by the lords and nobility who travelled by horseback and uh, also by coaches, and they wagered large amounts of money on the outcome of the fight. And, of course, any Bendigo prize fight was attended by the fearsome gang, the Nottingham Lambs. <laughs> Although the fights were illegal, the Lords were keen followers. The equivalent of millions changed hands in bets, especially for the three gruelling brawls between Bendigo and Big Ben over a total of 190 rounds. The illustration on J.P. Bean's biography features the famous throttling scene in their final contest. Caunt, frustrated by Bendigo, tried to strangle him. Accounts claim Bendigo's eyes bulged and face turned purple. Bendigo taunted Caunt, calling him a chucklehead and a dirty toad, threw his opponent to the ground and kicked him. But Bendigo won the final and deciding fight. A picture of Caunt and photograph of Bendigo, who lived to be 69, show them in later life. Bendigo's funeral in 1880 was one of the biggest events ever seen in Nottingham. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote a poem celebrating the life of bold Bendigo. Bendy, short for Bendigo, you should have seen him peel. Half of him were whalebone, half of him was steel. Fighting weight 11 10, 5 foot 9 in height. Always ready to oblige if you want to fight. 